On both July 7th and July 24th, 1874, Ellie mentions that it had rained very hard without discussing the fact that it had nearly caused a tornado on the 7th and the second storm on the 24th was quite vicious as well testimony towards that opinion is uh, an article in the Ypsilanti commercial from Saturday, July 25th, 1874. The lightning struck the house of Mrs. Leonard, northeast corner of Park and North Streets, Fifth Ward, knocking yesterday morning, cracking the chimney, knocking off shingles and demolishing the plastering in several rooms, providentially no one was hurt, although quite a number were in the house at the time. The neighbors felt a severe shock for some distance around. And what is of note here is that Ellie, or Allie, also lived in the Fifth Ward. So I don't know if she knew the Leonards, but yeah, she was in the Fifth Ward. So she had to have had some concept of this storm and let me find the second mention on this same page page five of the 25th it's at the bottom here thought i had it all mapped out before i started this but apparently i did not it's a very short mention but the storm on friday morning was a whopper the sky was shrouded by dark clouds and an immense volume of water fell. So yeah, twice now within a month, Ellie has just mentioned the hard rain, but nothing about the heavy thunderstorms, which is strange. There's the dust storm, 100 degree heat, cyclones, hurricanes, and the tornadoes of 1893 and 1946 in Ypsilanti. But it's just strange that a 17 year old girl would not mention thunderstorms. I don't know if that's a result of her sickness or maybe she just was not interested in it. It's very. It's, very odd to me, but what do I know?